Reagan Ledbetter is covering every day of the David Ware trial for us and is live at the Tulsa County Courthouse with what was said in court this morning. Reagan. Yeah, Jonathan, as you said, opening statements wrapped up a few minutes ago here at the courthouse. Prosecutors took about 30 minutes to give their opening statements. Defense attorney Kevin Adams took about an hour. Now, in this case, both sides, their main pieces of evidence in this trial is the body and dash cam videos of that traffic stop. But both argued different accounts of what happened during the traffic stop and why it all happened. Now, prosecutors said to open their opening statements and to close their opening statements that June 29th of 2020 was a a very bad day. It didn't start that way and it didn't have to end that way. And it ended that way because of David Ware's actions. Now they also kind of walked the jury through how the traffic stop started, why Officer Arush Zarkashan pulled David Ware over and about pull, uh, wanting to tow his car. Um, prosecutors emphasized that the officers gave several commands and were calmly asking Ware to get out of his car uh, for several minutes that is shown on that body cam video and Ware just repeated if refused their commands. Um, they escalated their, their orders for him to get out of that car, but he just refused and it eventually escalated into the shootings. Now, defense attorney Kevin Adams started his opening statements by saying, to properly decide this case, you'll have to determine what is true and what is untrue. The truth is, when David Ware shot them, he was in fear for his life. He says officers beat David Ware, they kicked him, they tased him, they maced him, and he pleaded and begged for someone to help him. Adams says, when it got to the point where Ware felt he was about to lose his life, he shot Officer Zarkashan and shot Sergeant Craig Johnson. Adam says the officers bullied and berated Ware and treated him like a dog. Now, we kind of expected this to happen because um, as Kevin Adams has done, he's filed a motion trying to get um, the judge to allow him to argue self-defense during this trial. The judge says he will allow that to be part of his argument and his theory during the trial, but he will not allow the jury to um, have the option to consider self-defense um, until sufficient evidence is presented. Now, the plan now, uh, they're taking a lunch break. They're going to bring everybody back at about one 30 and prosecutors will start to present their evidence and I'll have live updates tonight at four and six. Live in Tulsa, Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on Six.